so in the earlier video we had talked about uh, the the derivation to find mold filling time in a case of top filling case now in this uh, this video we'll go ahead with the side filling case where the mold metal is poured on the top side also but when it is going to enter inside the mold it is entering from the side sidewards that is the vertical face not the top face so hm is the height of mold h is the instantaneous height till which till the level which the metal has reached that is at time t is equal to some random time t so that is height h and obviously we all have that height 1 2 3 the location 1 2 3 the 3 is the location of the gate center of the gate one is where the free surface of the mold is two is till where the basin is so we'll again apply the bernoulli's equation between one and three i have applied the same and h3 is the only thing which is zero because we are taking the reference at location three p1 and p atm p1 is equal to p atm that is because of it is a free surface open to atmosphere v1 is zero because of obvious reasons that we are going to keep on filling the or pouring the metal until all the gate is all the the mold is filled up hence this location the location of the free surface will effectively not move or even if it is moving it is moving at very very small uh, small velocities p3 is equal to p atm obviously plus some part so we need to figure out what the uh, extra term is so let's apply uh, p3 is upon rho m rho m is the mold uh, density by g plus v3 square by 2g is equal to ht this is because uh, the things are coming from here p1 was p atm v1 was zero and ht remained and we'll be taking p3 with respect to p atm so these terms obviously gets cancelled so what remains is the this term the extra term v1 is 0, v3 remains and ht remains. Now let's write another equation which is p3 is equal to p4 plus rho m that is the mold density g into h. p4 is this. So uh, the location 4 is inside the mold and obviously before pouring the metal inside of the mold was also at atmospheric pressure so hence p4 will be at p atm. Now we have a relation between P3 and the H. So H, which is the instantaneous height, is plus H plus V3 square by 2G is equal to HT, which is coming from here. P3, I have substituted this equation in the above equation. And that's how I have got the, the V3 term. V3 square is equal to 2G, HT minus H. H is the instantaneous height, H. This H is the total height of the mold. And that is approximately the velocity at which uh, the metal will be flowing at the gate. Now, uh, another thing starts. So we have differential AM in, into the velocity that is dH by dt. That is the area of mold and the velocity of the free surface inside the mold. So he, uh, since I'm pouring the metal inside, the mold height will also start increasing. The, the level at which the metal is poured inside the uh, mold. So that dH is also going to increase and dH by dt means a velocity. And over here at the gate side, also the uh, at Ag, that is the area of the gate, the velocity of the, of the poured metal is Vg. So that should be equal. And from there, I'm going to find dH by dt, take dt over there, integrate the terms, and finally get TF. This TF is appearing because of, uh, I'm going to pour the material from time zero to time TF. That is the mold filling time. And the height changes from zero to the height of the mold. So that's how I have got that term TF. And we can easily remember this. It, it may look complex, but it is not that tough. And I have taken this AM by AG on the numerator. That's how I get the the time to fill the mold in side filling case and uh, you may take a moment to remember this because you may not be given this equation in the exam if it is closed book so that's how
uh, I have derived the equation for side filling in the mold filling time. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll go with the aspiration effect, which I left in the previous two previous videos. So it is also a very interesting concept. Let's stop over here. Thank you.